Hello everyone, this is Simon Marklem with KG Interactive, back for a follow-up to the last uh, Houdini tutorial. So, it turns out that there's way more we can do with this. I just didn't think of it until now. So what we're going to do is make sure that we can have different materials on the inside uh, and uh, another one on the outside. The material inside is a triplanar one, so it won't follow the UVs, so ignore that. Right. So, what we're going to do is we'll delete the FBX result, we will delete the auto depth network, and we'll jump back into our model. Here we can get rid of all of these things, all the way up to, to rest. So before we ended here at the UV unwrap um, with the attributes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our material palette and create two materials. Doesn't matter at all uh, which kind of materials you create. You just drag and drop something like concrete over here. Cool. So now we have two materials. Next up, we'll jump into our objects. I've chosen to go for the Windows desktop technical now, so let's go back into ManFat. And here we are. So let's um, actually recreate this one. So material, put that down here. I'm gonna set this to have two materials. In the first one, we're gonna do group outside and I'm just going to set that to material concrete. And in group two, or material two, we're going to set inside. And then concrete number one. Except, or two, doesn't matter. And then I tried to do this material attribute creation. It doesn't seem to work with FBX, so we can actually just delete those and have this be our final piece. Right, so back out into the FBX we imported. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to set this to static object and then do an RDB fracture object from the manfat there. And now it's going to process and again echo tails. Huh. So we got our thing here. Let's let it simulate for a bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Once again, click the man fat or whatever you've imported. Do an animation export. Wait for it to process everything. Jump back out of the OBJ. Into the OBJ and then we'll have the FBX result here. With all of the pieces. The way this actually works is if you jump into this and check this out. Um, it just proxies the entire mesh, deletes off everything except for that specified part, and then uh, it actually just takes this transform node and animates it over time. So that's quite quite clever. As you can see here, these are changing. Okay, so let's do this. File, export, FBX, do this FPX result and frame range 50 export now then I'm gonna throw this into unity and here we are gonna do the same setup we did before set this to a legacy so we don't have to create anything extra, go and set this to loop, apply. All right, and now I will just drag and drop this into here. I will select all of these pieces. You can see there are now two material elements. I'm going to go for the outside first and then just another one here. All right, now when we play, you can see that 
there's a different material inside of our fractured man. And that's it. If there's any uncertainties, just write me a letter. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know if you think I should create more of these. Uh, bye. Uh, Echo Tales and the blog. Uh, you have to check that out, of course. Uh, always do that. Subscribe. Like if you do like it. Dislike if you don't like it. But please do like it. So, yeah. Thanks. Echo Tales. Blog.kginteractive.net. Bye again. Bye bye.